I got an internship at Paramount, and that was with the Gary Marshall Company, um, and I was on Laverne and Shirley. So I was the intern, uh, Gary Nadler, no, it was uh, Gary Mentier and Marty Nadler were the executive producers, and I remember they told me, they said, you, you will either become a writer or you will be getting us coffee. <laughs> and, and that was when staffs were huge, so there were probably 13 people on that staff. And, uh, and I was the lowest person, it was me and there was another guy, and we would do what was called button patrol. And that was the end of the scene always ended with a joke, and it was called the button. And that was always where they would send the interns and you would go out and you would have to come back with like 50 jokes, and then they would just read them off. And it was really a lot of fun, actually. Or you would do, you know, if they couldn't get something right, they would just send you out and you would fix up that little part. So I did that for a while, and then the strike happened. So me and the other intern were the first two people to be kicked off the lot. <laughs> After okay. the strike, they invited me back as a staff writer. On Laverne and Shirley. On Laverne and Shirley. Oh, okay. So I started as the intern, then the strike happened, then I came back and I was a staff writer. It was right before Cindy left. So what was the atmosphere like there? It was tough. It was tough. They had been through quite a few um, you know, they went through a lot of writers on Laverne and Shirley. We called it the Revolving Door Show. And I think Gary and Marty were probably maybe like the sixth set of executive producers. I'm not sure. So, and they were wonderful. I remember one time they got, the girls were not happy with them. They called Laverne and uh, they called to Cindy and Penny the girls. They were not happy. So they, they called down Gary and Marty and they said, we want to fire you, but we fired so many people that they won't let us fire anybody anymore. So we want you guys to quit. <laughs> and they said, really? Well, we're not quitting. <laughs> and since you can't fire us, I guess you're stuck with us. And so, so that was, so they stayed. And, uh, but it was a tough show. It was a tough show because Cindy and, Penny, even though it was really, really a high-rated show, it didn't have, like, the sexiness. It wasn't the hip show, sort of. And so I think um, they weren't that happy about that. But that show, it was an amazing staff. The staffs were huge at that time. And it was also a time when physical comedy was really, um, you know, revered. Now people act like physical comedy, that's like cheap comedy, but actually those women were so talented and, uh, and I have a great love for physical comedy because of them. I just thought that they were very unhappy and maybe they were tired of doing it, I, I'm not sure. Um, Do you think because Cindy also, you know, was a very, she was in American Graffiti, I believe she was in The Conversationalist. These are, I mean, that was those were great films with amazing directors. So I think maybe that was a, a little hard for her to be Shirley, you know, with Boo Boo Kitty. I wrote one show, one Laverne and Shirley, which I had, which I shared with another person. And our show was that they were in a trailer, but the trailer was always going back and forth. And somehow they were dressed like geishas. I don't know exactly why. And they were trying to have a dinner party in this trailer that was going back and forth. It was all written. I mean, nothing was off, was improvised really, because everything had to be very choreographed. And so it was really the executive producers and, you know, we worked as, it's very collaborative. It was very collaborative there. So yes, it was all written out and it was all choreographed because you had to have special effects and all that kind of stuff. So it was very, very choreographed.